Thank you very much for having me again. Your boy Chris told me Easy Mill had a freestyle for us, and I said, Can I be there, sir, please? <laughs> Listen to my boy Easy Mill go ham. Hey, that's our boy right there, Easy Millie. I can't wait, man. This guy is so amazing with his wordplay, with his singing, with his dancing, with his editing. But today, today, we're doing. Easy Mill Nas to Nipsey Hustle and YG in an emotionally charged freestyle live. Not on the sixth floor, not on the seventh floor, but on the eighth floor. You know why? Because this guy's going all the way up. 2021 is Easy Mill's year. And if you don't believe it, he's gonna show you right now. I already know it. I've never seen this video, but I am going to check this out with my boy Nick. So let's get right into it, all right? But before we do, don't forget to like, Comment, subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and join the Hobby Lifestyle family. Also, check out our IG pages. So check out Let the Shenanigans Begin. That is the crew. Yes, sir. This is Nick, me, my boy Doughboy. Shout out to my guy over there doing big things. Just like my boy Easy Mill. Hey, man, Let the Shenanigans Begin. We're going all the way out to in 2021. And then also, you can check out the underscore Javier underscore lifestyle. And you can check out his Instagram page, his production page. That's Shenanigans Prod, Shenanigans P R O D. That's my production page for the Let the Shenanigans Begin. Uh, again, that's Let the Shenanigans Begin, uh, L E T D A, Shenanigans Begin on IG. Uh, make sure you check us out. Uh, again, hit us all with the likes. We're we'll come up with a lot more stuff, so we're excited to do it. And let's uh, get into what's in Ooh. here today. <laughs> let's get into it. Let's go. Let's roll the footage. Starting off singing. Okay. <laughs> Bro, he can really sing. Oh he can my really, god. He can Bro, like seriously sing. He started sing. off singing. This guy, he didn't start. Boom. Let's go straight to the rap. No, he went straight to the melodic flow that we all love about Easy Mill. Man, Easy Mill can sing. He can pour his heart out. He's showing his Filipino pride, y'all. Come on, let's get into it. Hey, shout out to all my Filipinos out there. Y'all been amazing. Just like my boy Easy Milk. Let's get into it. Ooh, I'm sorry, Easy. Hey, I'm gonna take this back. Because we need to rewind that. That was a bar. That man. was. Yo, that did whole you thing. It? That whole thing. Man, I want to go to the beginning. Let's go. Da, 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 da. Let's get Let's into play it. it back. Let's play it back. Ooh, I cough like a newbie you under arrest. Oh god dang it. The oh, bars, sorry. man, the bars. Oh my goodness, he didn't say that. He said like the bees, they are doing it for cat. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, they are bro. I mean this guy is literally speaking facts right he now. Is. He's spitting it. Easy Mel is for real, man. He is a real deal. This guy, he's something else. Let's go, guys. Ooh, hold up. He said before he came to America, 
He didn't know that black, black people, people were offended, offended, by, offended by, that by that word. Ooh. Hey, man, I'm sure a lot of people don't know, man. They're all from different, like, from countries. different countries. You don't expect them to really know, like, off the Everything bat. with our culture. What everything's about. Everybody's and if they grew different. up listening to rap music, too, especially, like, old school rap music a lot, you got to think about what they heard in that. So they think that's part of rap. Exactly. Like, that's part of what you do with rap. Right. So, Ooh. Okay, but cool. I mean, I like that wordplay because literally he is speaking facts. Like I'm sure, like different cultures have different beliefs yeah. or different, like you know, ways of being. You know, but he's from Philippines, so him coming now he lives in Las Vegas, I believe, but he's in Power 106, which is one of the biggest radio stations in Los Angeles. And this guy's just doing his thing, man. He's showing how he's so versatile. Exactly. But then the crazy thing is too is like. He's low-key admitting a fault in himself, too, that when he was younger, he may have made that mistake of thinking that that word was okay for him to say. Maybe he learned it. He's being real with himself and being real with everyone who listens to him. Like, yo, this, it's it's different. I like, I like that he's being real to exactly. himself. Real a, to lot of, a lot of rappers are doing it for cat, too. They don't know. They 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 don't know, but they don't say it or, or admit their fault. And he talks about that, too. He yeah, talks about that, too. He ain't, trying to be a, he ain't trying to be a big cap, man. He ain't trying to be a big step up. All right? <laughs> No cap, all step. Yes, sir. Hey, bro, I see no way that I'm being such a pain, bro. That was kind of shocking for me as to learn that American black people get offended by a word, but don't get it twisted. I ain't like myself with a term, and I felt the pain of fuck crack up until he burned. Did you hear that, bro? Roll that one back. That one, that one back. That one ski. I ain't like myself with a term, and I felt the pain of fuck crack up until he burned. He was saying I like it over the time, but I'll fucking crack it up and watch it burn. Oh my! What? Goodness. Hey, bro, you know what I'm saying? He's hey, I honestly feel like he's telling a story right now, bro. He's, he's telling he's telling us about himself. He's putting himself on this right now, bro. This freestyle is all about what he is as an artist. Exactly. Yo, where he learned his mistake. Oh my goodness, man. That hey, that that scheme is just something else. The wordplay, the like he showed us an IDK. That he doesn't play when it comes to wordplay. You, you gotta all. catch those bars. I'm not gonna lie. I haven't caught all those bars. I'm trying. <laughs> but when I do catch it, I gotta pause it. That's what we gotta run it back a couple times every once in a while, too, because we gotta, we just gotta, we, we gotta absorb everything he's saying, man, because everything he says is, you gotta, it, it builds nice. into each other, bro. It doesn't stop. Like when we hear one bar and then we're like, oh, damn, that was hot. And then you go to the next bar and it's like building upon the previous bar. And you're like, oh, my God, what is he doing? Going crazy. Guy, this what guy. he's doing. Hey, I'm, gonna go, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it back a little bit. All right, let's go. Woo. In the back of the scene. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, snap! Dude, he could really, he could really sing. He could really sing. Like, yo, he can really sing. Yeah, I mean, a lot of rappers they try. To they sing. try to sing, but no, but this guy he can, can sing. sing. He switches from rap to singing. He does even rock. He uh, he does. He does. He There's a lot, of, like uh, in the Panello live. I, I know he did like a little, yeah, rock stuff. Man, that was, so that was I can't, dope. I can't wait to like really embrace. I'm sure I feel like I had, I missed. Some type of easy no somewhere down the line. I heard first and I heard his, his first and only or something like that with his sister. I mm -hmm. heard that was a different type of feel. I still need to check that out. But this right here is easy mill is showing that he can do it all. You ain't yeah. fucking with easy mill. All right, easy mill is the real deal. This guy, I don't think any rappers touching it right now. To be honest with you, I'm gonna be a hundred percent. I have never seen a rapper like this. I never seen an artist like this. He's not even a rapper. He's an artist. artist yeah, true. he can do it yeah, all. Yeah, we talked about this last time, man. He's an artist, bro. He can do it all. But man, he's saying melodic killers, and I like that. He's like, I'm a melodic killer. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I kill the the melody. I'm, I'm easy mill. Come on, y'all. Y'all need to put some respect on my boy's name. Honestly, put and some you need to. Hey, on I, I want I want to see him on Double XL Freshness. If he's not on Double XL Freshness, bro, that's true. Double XL Freshness, and now we don't have some problems, y'all. I'm about to call y'all asses out. Because if you don't got my boy Easy Mill on there, I want my sleeping. boy Blast. Blast is another one that's really good. He's up and coming. But my boy Easy Mill, he could do it all. He could do it all. And if you guys 
Hey, double XL, man. I swear, if you guys don't put my boy on that double XL freshman list, man, we're gonna have some issues. My boy, he's on par 106, man. Honestly, he's on par 106. That's a big deal. It's like he's drawing in front of our eyes. And we saw him at the Wish USA bus. Now he's doing par 106, like a whole month later. Just a month. A month fan? I've never seen a rapper do that. He's blowing up, bro. I keep rambling, rambling on, but I got to, man. I'm so passionate about him. Like, he's passionate about his hip-hop, his artistry, and everything he loves. Especially his country, the Philippines, man. Let's go. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. What didn't know about Bro. He just showed homage to the West Coast. He's trying yeah. to have two hip hop artists that was from the West Coast. R.I.P. Yeah. King Nip. R.I.P. King Nip. R.I.P. King Nip. King Nip. And he's showing, he's embracing, he's paying homage, bro. He's saying, yo, I didn't even know about Nipsey until he passed away. And that's being real, too. He's being honest. I mean, but he's still of, paying his dues. A lot of people don't didn't know about Nipsey before. He, but they wouldn't say that. Exactly. But he'll say it. He'll he said, be honest. And he's he'll being be real. Honest. And then people sleep on YG. I don't know why people are not putting YG on. Bro, YG got hits. Mm -hmm. I really I really messed with right at YG. I saw him actually live at Camp Flognaw. And he put on a show. He put that F Donald Trump. Uh, yeah, that's a good one, bro. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good one. Like, hey, that was one of his biggest hits. It was. It YG, was. bro. That's, that's what put him on the map exactly. a little bit. It's because it was big at the time. You know exactly. what I mean? He knew what to do. But man, Easy Mel, like he's showing homage. He's showing homage to the West Coast, literally where he's where he's, where he's at. Yeah, right now. He's, yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, I mean, where he kind of grew up and kind of got this right. got this whole rap thing started. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Even yeah. though, like in the Philippines, that's where he he you know he originated from the Philippines. But then he went to America. He went to LA, I think, for a couple of years, and then he now he lives in Vegas, from my understanding. Okay. But he's spending a lot of time in LA. I wouldn't be surprised if he moves back to LA, especially yeah, he's, no. he's getting bigger, man. Yeah, of course. He's he's revolutionized. It, it, it's, it's gonna be a, right now. yeah, exactly. It's gonna it's gonna be a thing he's gonna have to do just because he's gonna be next to all that exactly. all, all that he's available to him. You know what I mean? A lot of resources that he can exactly you know utilize, utilize in California. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But man, I like that right there that he's spitting some shit. That everybody can relate to. Exactly. I mean, I knew about Nip not as much as before he passed away, but I knew Nip, of course. You know, like he was one of my favorite West Coast rappers. Uh, but there's a lot of good West Coast rappers out there, you know, and I like that he's embracing where he's at at the moment, which yeah. is in the, yeah, I believe this is the LA Lakers, part 106. Um, oh, yeah. And he's on a freestyle on them. And it says and he's on the title to California. that yeah, he's, of he's pretty much nodding to Nipsey Hussle and YG. Mm -hmm. And that's what he just showed right now. So I'm going to get back into this. Enough talking. <laughs> but I love this guy, man. Yeah. I love this guy. I'm passionate. It's just what it is, you know. We out here, power one of six. It's doing the same for me. We out here. Easy, man, out here. Easy, man. Double up, this Double up, double up. Or how you doing? Double, nah, that was like, double up? Double up? 22 double up. 22 double up. There's some respect on the Philippines, man. That's Alagapo City. That's where he's from. 22 double up. And brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
It's a lot coming soon, so stay tuned. But uh, Easy Mo, it's a lot coming soon for him too. Honestly. And one day I want to meet this guy. We want we, to we need to get an interview with this guy. So y'all, maybe y'all can hit him up for us too and say, hey, y'all go do an interview with us. I mean, man, I would love to interview this guy. I would love to have a little a little video session with him. A shenanigans, uh, uh, easy email collab. Exactly. Just a little like a interview little song, a little, song, little five minutes of his time, you know five what I'm saying? Of his time. So he can talk to us and then obviously you guys, if we get it to happen, you guys will obviously put in the comments what kind of questions you want to ask him. You know, you being from the Philippines, you probably really have some really deep things you want to, you want to, Ask this man, you know, he's, he's, he's an idol not only to yourself, but to a lot of other rappers. Honestly, even to me, myself, like he, he is amazing as a musician. I mean, he's you, amazing as an you artist. You also rap. I, know, I also rap a little bit too. Yeah, I also rap a little bit too. So it's like just for me to hear him do that. Yeah, also, you I, could get I it play instruments and stuff. Yeah. So it's like, I, I've done, I've, I've played music since I was like in fourth grade. So for me, hearing something like this, it's just, it's mind boggling. Like, like this guy, he, he reminds me kind of like, uh, I mean, uh, Charles Gambino was a lot the same way. Like, yeah. like he would come in and do these crazy things funny. where he would just sing and rap and do all of the crazy stuff. What's funny he about was... Charles Gambino is uh, he started as an actor, comedian. Exactly. And then he started making music. Exactly. And now he's just, he's doing all kinds all, of ventures, all, kind all of kinds of, you know, avenues. And that's mm -hmm. why I see with uh, Easy Mel. He can go in so many, many different ways. He can go rap. He can go R and B. Here you go, pop. Here you go, uh, rock. Rock. Here you go, act. I feel like he'd be a great actor. Um, he can produce. He can edit. Mm -hmm. What can't this guy do? I still say this to this day. I don't even know what he cannot do. He can definitely freestyle. Everything. He can freestyle. You think? Problem. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Heck yeah, this guy is a freestyle monster. That's what Honestly, I'm calling. Honestly, bro. I want to see another freestyle. I want to see another freestyle. We want to react to more freestyles. Easy Mel. He's the real deal. And I say that every time I do a reaction because it is the freaking truth. And um, like I said, man, if Double XL, I'm putting him on the freshman list. I'm going to have some issues with the CEO of Double XL is because this guy, he, he deserves everything, every accomplishment, every milestone, everything. He, he deserves it all. This guy, he puts in hard work. And I like seeing the underdog win. Honestly, I mean, I'm a cop. Well, I, I wouldn't consider an <laughs> underdog. He's just multi-talented. He's yeah. he's gonna win. No, he's gonna win regardless. I'm right, exactly. underdog, man. I, I don't consider him the underdog, but I, I'm saying like, you know, a lot of people they go for that that street shit. You know, true, what true, true. He, he but he's but he's real, and he's, he's exactly real, true. And true. you know, I, like that's I, why I'm saying like the underdog. I, like I said, I'm a cuz fan. The Cubs are usually underdogs, even though they're very popular. Like Easy Mel is very popular in this country. Not even only this country. Not these. Probably in the United States. Everybody knows who the Easy Mill is. Yeah. If you don't know who Easy Mill is, you must You're be sleeping. sleeping on a rock. You must be sleeping on a rock or something. Or in a cave. I don't know. Honestly. <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed our reaction. Again, shout out to each and every one of y'all. Because you guys, if it wasn't for y'all, I wouldn't even know who Easy Mill was. You know? And uh, how much he can do. And he just he's a real artist, man. That's what I love about him. That's what we love about him. Honestly, yeah. So, and yeah, thank you guys too. I have to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys very much for showing us the music. And uh, yeah, this was another dope freestyle. Keep recommending stuff for us, guys. Yes, uh, we both enjoy Easy Mill a lot. I think I think we'll have no problem getting more stuff out. Only to keep re recommending it. So, get in that comment section, like, subscribe, obviously all that kind of cool And guys. also check out our IG pages. Let the shenanigans begin and shenanigans prod on IG. And you can check out the underscore Javier underscore lifestyle. That's my IG. But together we are a unit, so we have a lot of stuff coming up. And if you want to see shenanigans more on my channel, it's, which is going to happen regardless. But if you guys do, please say shenanigan gay. Hashtag shenanigan gay. Shenanigan gay. Shenanigan gay. Hashtag shenanigan. Yes, <laughs> All right. But until next time, it's always peace, love, and positivity. I'm out. Black and white is all y'all see. And